Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dilip Dotto, Consultant Neuro and Spine Surgeon, Narayana Super Speciality Hospital, Howrah. Today we will discuss about a very common neurospinal problem, the lumbar canal stenosis. Lot of people come to us and ask us about uh, lumbar canal stenosis, what are the symptoms, how it can be identified, how it can be treated, whether they can get uh, full relief from those symptoms. So this is a very common problem. Uh, lumbar canal stenosis is basically a type of degenerative condition of the spine. Uh, it can affect the uh, lumbar spine. This is the lumbar spine. Uh, this is the pelvic bone. This is the sacrum and the pelvic bone lies here. So in lumbar canal stenosis, what happens? Uh, these bones either overgrows or the ligaments within it, the soft tissue, those can overgrow and can compress the nerve. The, this is the spinal cord that goes in and these are the nerves that come out from the neural foramina. So, these nerves can get compressed in lumbar canal stenosis and that causes the symptoms. The most common symptom, the most uh, the symptom that can uh, lead to the uh, diagnosis of lumbar canal stenosis is called neurogenic claudication. In neurogenic claudication, people can stand or walk for a very short period of time. If they stand for a long time or if they walk for a, some amount of distance, uh, after that they feel heaviness of their thigh or the buttock region or they feel pain in both the legs and they need to take rest immediately, otherwise they cannot walk or stand. Once they take rest, they can again walk or they can again stand for some duration. So this is called neurogenic claudication and it directly points towards features of lumbar canal stenosis. So how this can be identified? Initially we get a x-ray of the lumbar spine done where we can see whether the uh, neural foramina, the uh, places where the, uh, from where the nerve roots comes out, whether those are compressed or not. But the main diagnostic uh, test is a uh, uh, MRI of the lumbar spine where we can see whether the canal, I mean the space for the nerve to travel has been uh, sorted or it is stenosed. So the nerve are compressed. Once we diagnose a lumbar canal stenosis, there are different treatment modalities. Initially, we start with medication and physiotherapy, physiotherapy exercises, back strengthening exercises and we also advise healthy lifestyle, maintaining good posture, maintaining good posture at work, uh, this lifestyle modification. Initial stages of lumbar canal stenosis can be managed with lifestyle modification and some drugs. But when uh, the lumbar canal stenosis is uh, progressed, we need to operate on those people. In case of operation, we go from the back, we remove part of the bone here, we remove the compression on the nerves here and the nerves are decompressed and if required, we put in screw and fix it with rod to stabilize the spine. This is the treatment uh, option in case of neurosurgical treatment option in case of lumbar uh, canal stenosis. People uh, sometimes have an idea that in case of uh, spinal operation, there are chances of uh, paralysis or weakness of uh, both the lower limb. I can assure you that with proper in the technique and with proper uh, instruments we are using nowadays, the chances of uh, neural deficit, I mean any injury to the nerve has come down a lot. We use microscope these days, we use lot of uh, monitoring so that we can prevent those type of injuries and we can uh, help the people regain their normal life. Thank you.